Hi, welcome to the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. I'm your host, Brian. Today we're going to be talking about Bardstown Bourbon's Origin Series, the Black Label, or their Bottled and Bond, Hunter Proof. It was distilled in fall of 16, and it's six years old. It's consisting of 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. It's a beautiful bottle, which they're known for, and a nice heavy cap. It's almost like a like almost like a nice gold heavy cap. But what I also like about Bardstown is this one here has really cool artwork on the back, something different, but is where they distill it from, which is now their own, how many years it is, what's the mash bill. A lot of companies I've noticed, um, which I'll review, don't really show you where it comes from, whether it's Indiana or Kentucky, Georgia, or even out of the tub in their backyard. But what I like about Bardstown is they've always been transparent. And including some of the um, Discovery series, they even have QR codes on the bottle that you can scan, and they'll even tell you what the staves are. So that's really what I, I like a lot about Bardstown. And even when they distilled, um, used MGP or Ross and Squib juice, their stuff was outstanding. So look for a video coming out that I'm going to be doing soon uh, with the Dis Disco series 6, 7, 8, and 9. No on the nose. Wow. That just has, you get that touch of caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Almost like a, a dry woodiness. It's uh, it's different. This is, again, this, uh, sorry, I didn't mention before, this is a straight off the rip neck pour. So this is, I haven't let it open up a little bit. Sometimes I like to let them open up, but you know what? I was so excited just to get this one, so I figured, what the heck? I'm going to open it up and go for it. You definitely can tell the difference now between their distillate and like a disco or a fusion series. There is definitely a different note when you smell this as compared to another one of theirs before. Almost reminds me of a... Vanilla wafer, uh, the the cookies with the uh, white cream in the middle, with the crunchy ones we used to eat as kids. That's what this reminds me of. Now, let's get into the taste. It's um, a little sharp at first. Again, this being a neck pour, but it's definitely a little sharp. That vanilla wafer cream note really punches through on the mid palate and under the back. It's got a little bit of heat, got that little bit of that Kentucky hug. But for their for their own distillate, this this is this is really good. I agree with the bourbon judge. This if I had a gavel, I'd probably pound it three times too. It's creamy, smooth. But that finish, it's it's still lingering. It's still there. It just has that, and it there's a there's the warm, and it, it just it's a gentle warmth for a bottled and bond for in, in our state. This is forty seven dollars. This is really good. I mean, this is honestly this is outstandingly good. And again, for forty seven dollars, I'm this this is definitely a buy. If you see this out there, pick it up. This is an outstanding. Outstanding bottled and bond. I would put this up, and I might do a, a blind. I think I will on the other bottled and bonds that I have, and uh, see where this comes in at. Let's go in for a second taste. The first taste, like I said, was it was there. It had that little bit of sharpness, but I'm not gonna lie. The the finish is still lingering after the first taste. It's it's again an outstanding, outstanding bottled and bond. Now I get like um definitely get a, like an oakiness in there, lingers on the mid palate, but again that that vanilla wafer note that I nosed on the, the nosing is is still there, and the finish just just keeps just keeps on going. It's like it's like that slow run you're kind of doing by yourself, and it just keeps on going. It is, I I really I'm I'm shocked on how really good this is. So again, like I said before, if you see a bottle, grab it. It's a, it's a damn good buy. 
Again, this is Brian, your host for the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Talk to you next time. I forgot to add one more thing. Good whiskey, Irish, Scotch, bourbon, doesn't matter. It's always meant to be shared. You see that bottle? Pop that bottle. Enjoy that bottle. Hand that bottle out. If you like it, you might find somebody else who does. Now, you two share love of bourbon. So, again, find a whiskey, open it up, and enjoy it, and share it with those you love. Thanks again.